John too is that uh, you ask about how he is as a company man. He is the ultimate company man. Yeah. Um, his life is WWE. Uh, he would live his entire life on the road and never go home. You know, I mean, he was married for a while, and not, even a lot of people knew it. It was just kind of like a, a secret thing that he was married. Obviously, I didn't know he was married until he got divorced. Yeah, obviously, he just kind of sacrificed his marriage uh, for the sake of everything that was going on in the business and just being on the road full time. You know, so. Uh, from a, a standpoint of being the owner of the WWE, you have to absolutely love a John Cena because he's willing to, to give you everything he has, you know, and, and not have any kind of outside life besides wrestling. So when it comes to a company man, he is uh, the ideal example. You're not going to find anyone that is going to be a better uh, company man than John Cena is. He never blows up. He never blows up? That motherfucker has the best cardio of anybody else. Mm-hmm. I mean, if somebody, most uh, muscle heads, man, they're dead by the end of the match. I mean, he's blowing his comeback at the end of that match, man. He is fucking flying. And he never looks, you know, you never really see him dying. I don't mean well. I take my hat off to him. Thoughts on Ryback and, and his big push. You, you think he deserves a push? And, and do you think it's uncreative because it's pretty much uh, a cheap rip off of uh, Bill Goldberg? But the Goldberg push wasn't original. You know, everybody's saying that. You know, there's a people, you know, Nikita came before Goldberg. Andre came before him. It's, you could say it's the ultimate warrior push if you want. Uh, there's a lot of guys that were undefeated and, you know, whatever. And, uh, I mean, to say it's deserved, you know, who... who, who